Rob Blakely, NBC Sports Boston. Uh, this question is for both of you guys. Uh, speak of the importance of coming in here, establishing the tone, not in t only in terms of how you play, but also doing it in a winning fashion. Um, <clears throat> you know, I just think that uh, uh, we, we came in very focused, locked in on the things that we wanted to do as a group. Um, you know, we knew that we were going to have to play uh, a very solid game, and, and I felt like our focus level was good from the beginning. Um, and, and, you know, we just continued to stick together throughout the game. And, and just you go. Okay. And just to follow, uh, Al, obviously it's a team defense when you're dealing with a guy like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but just speak to what your focus was and just your mindset as you were tackling that, that assignment. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's such a great player. I think that our focus was to make sure that, that you know, we just made it tough on him every time. Uh, you know, all our guys at different times were on him and um, and involved in the play and uh, just making sure that he earned everything he, he got. And, uh, and I felt like we did a really good job of that. Uh, Paul Flannery, SB Nation. Kyrie. How, how vital is that pick and pop game that you have with Al, not only for getting him shots and looks, but for kind of opening up other things on the floor? Um, it's very vital for our offense. Uh, just it brings continuity, brings spacing, uh, especially when we're in the right spots. Uh, you know, we're staying disciplined in, in our half court offense, and we have either matchups that we want to go at or Al knows. Um, you know, where I'm going to be getting downhill and, you know, we communicate throughout the game where we would like our pick and roll offense to be, uh, how we can be more efficient. Um, so I don't miss him on easy shots or, um, you know, easy opportunities that he can make for others. So it's, it's, it's vital for our offense. And I think that we do a great job of communicating that throughout the whole entire game, um, because we understand that they're going to adjust as well. So. Um, you know, just playing the game the right way. Me and him in the pick and roll, we're, we're very efficient. So um, I just try to make the right read. Um, you know, I, threw, I threw a ball all the way in the stands in the in the beginning of the game. Um, and that uh, was my that was my, my fault. That uh, one. I was in the in the wrong place. I appreciate so. that. <laughs> um, but you know, and just going to back to the bench and then being able to have that talk and um, establish a position where I would like him to be and where where it's comfortable for him. So. Taylor Snow, Celtics.com. Uh, you guys went back to that small starting lineup with Morris at the four. How do you think that move benefited you guys and also just the impact that Marcus had out there too? I think that uh, he obviously adds spacing, but there's a there's a, still a toughness that him and Baines bring, uh, either one um, coming off for, for our starting unit. Um, obviously, Smarty's not here, but um, – Throwing either one of them in there works for us, and we're going to make it work, especially when we go, want to go at specific matchups. So um, I, I think it worked to our, our advantage, and uh, I think it'll work to our advantage throughout this series uh, if we play it right. Um, so he, he's in the right spot for the majority, uh, majority of the game. Uh, Marcus is always ready to play, as well as Baines. We, we never want to see anybody go down, but it's interchangeable for us. John Corrales, MassLive.com. <laughs> Uh, in in that locker room all season long, Kyrie, a lot of guys have been saying, "Look, wait until the playoffs." Uh, throughout all the struggles, is this the type of game that you guys envisioned when you were telling us to come back to you when it came to the playoffs? Uh, maybe there was a little foreshadowing throughout the regular season um, as we were dealing with our ups and downs naturally. Um, but I think that we just have an appreciation for the group that we have. We, we've spent the, at least two years together now. You know, everyone's relatively healthy other than Smarty. So I think that we have a good rhythm of the um, the expectations for each other and then going out there and executing. Brad does a great job putting us in a, in a great position uh, in terms of the game plan and preparation. So it's our job to go out there and execute. Uh, we obviously try to get the best out of each other, and I think that that communication on the bench has improved vastly since um, the playoffs have started. Um, and just everyone feels good, so I think that helps as well. Kyrie, Gary Walsh from Boston Globe. You took 21 shots, but it didn't seem like you took that many. Um, do you like when you're kind of playing both score and facilitator? And how did you feel like your role was tonight, um, in, especially in the second and third quarters when you didn't shoot that much? Uh, well, I, I just I just played a, played a game as, as it comes. I think that when I'm out there, I think that um, 
you know, if you, I try to put too much of an emphasis on thinking too much about trying to be aggressive or trying to be too much of a facilitator, then it'll take me out of my game. So tonight, um, you know, just coming out there, I just wanted to come out aggressive, establish myself in the post, establish myself around the mid-range area. Um, and then after that, I knew that the adjustments that they were going to make were going to dictate the rest of the pace of the game. Um, so the second and third quarter, I really don't worry about shots. I could get my shot anytime I want. Um, I think everybody in the building knows that. Um, but aside from that, the evolution of my game has come from just being able to pace the game very well and manage it and then establish these guys throughout the game because they're special as well. So I'm even more special when they're making shots and they're doing what they do. So I try to just go out there and just ease into it. And, um, you know, some shots are going to go in some nights and some shots are not. So I think that just coming in with that mindset, just be aggressive, and then that will open up opportunities for my teammates. You guys have both been in so many postseasons at this point that I know, Kyrie, you've mentioned it, that the regular season can be just long waiting to get here. Now that you get to be here, though, get to be at this favorite time of year, when you're out there, do you notice yourself focusing differently, taking in everything differently, thinking about it differently? It don't really matter about the environment at this part. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm you know, is I've heard the loudest of the loud. I've heard <laughs> so many things throughout the playoffs. You know, I've I've been in some seven game series. I've been in um, some sweeps. I've been all over the uh, board emotionally, trying to figure out all right, how do we dial back in? How do I dial back in personally? Do I come out more aggressive? And you start to overthink the game, and it's just basketball. So. Uh, you prepare the right way, you give it great energy, you give your teammates great energy, then it'll come right back to you. And I genuinely believe that. So, um, you know, obviously it's just one game. You know, it's not, we're not going to shoot as well as we did. You know, I, I don't know if it's going to happen, but uh, I hope it does. But I'm just saying that I'm um, just being real with uh, going out and how we, I manage the game. These guys help me tremendously. You know, I, I don't really want to talk much. I don't really want to say much. We're in the huddle, but they bring it out of me, and I'm appreciative of that because they allow me to just be me. And um, Al holds me down as well. So, I mean, Al, you're so calm all the time. Do you notice yourself during postseason games any different out on the court than in the regular season? <clears throat> I think it is. Uh, for, for me, just everything is, uh, is so much uh, – gets heightened so much. You know, um, you just – the intensity, the fans, um, the, I just think the focus level goes goes way up. And and for our group, that, that was something that I feel like we had a hard time in the regular season. Um, after some of a, uh, of us, obviously, last year going through a, a run and, and uh, being in these type of positions and then coming to the regular season, and, um, you know, it was tough to, to get to that stage. So um, I just think that once the postseason started, I think we all really – um, have been able to lock in, and Kyrie has been on our ear um, even you know weeks before the se regular season even ended about the commitment and what we needed to do as a group and and how we needed to prepare and um, and be better and and I think all the guys um, uh, understood uh, what he was trying to tell us and have taken up on that challenge and, and trying to be better and trying to do the little things to to get us to this point. Mark Murphy, Boston Herald, Al, how much did the maintenance program during the season help you, and how has that helped your energy right now? Um, I, th I think it's, it was very helpful for me um, uh, just because, uh, um, you know, we I wanted to be at my best when I got to, to this point of the season, and, and, and you know, our medical staff and and, and our coaches being conscious of that um, understood that we needed to make some sacrifices during the season and uh, and I felt like they managed it perfectly and and now we're in a, you know we're in a, uh, we we're in a good position we're in, we're in the place that we want to be and and you know just uh, trying to make the most of it John Corrales, Uh